The COVID-19 outbreak might have you thinking a lot more about cleaning or stocking up on these, but it's important to note there's a difference between cleaning, which is removing traces of dirt and grime, and disinfecting. That involves killing germs. In moving forward, experts say COVID-19 is primarily transmitted through droplets and not contact with contaminated surfaces. Droplets can come from coughing, sneezing, and even breathing. Those droplets can then land on the noses and mouths of other people, further spreading the infection. And when it comes to cleaning, tonight we're breaking down just how long the coronavirus can live on different surfaces. The data is from the National Institutes of Health and the National Institute of Allergies and Infectious Diseases. That data suggests that the virus can live on glass for four days. It can live on plastic and stainless steel for three days and up to 24 hours on cardboard. But the World Health Organization says the likelihood of you catching COVID-19 from a package or your mail is still very, very low. That's because your package has most likely been moved and as it's traveled, it's been exposed to different conditions and different temperatures. Coronavirus has been shown to last the shortest period of time on copper surfaces, just four hours. Historically speaking, copper has been used in hospitals as an effective way to ward off viruses. Several hospitals are now increasing copper use in patient settings, including those rails on hospital beds. To increase your protection against COVID-19, the CDC recommends disinfecting high touch areas. These are some of the germiest places in your home, and they include doorknobs, light switches, tables, chairs, handles, desks, toilets, and sinks. You should also properly clean phones, tablets, touch screens, remote controls, and keyboards. A list of EPA-approved cleaning products is available on the CDC's coronavirus website. And when it comes to those products, you do not need us to tell you they can be hard to come by right now. Things like hand sanitizer and toilet paper just flew off the shelves faster than you could buy the stuff. According to Nielsen, for the last week in February, hand sanitizer sales were 313% higher. Yes, you heard me right. 313% higher than that same week last year. And during that time, sales of aerosol disinfectants were 100% higher. And bathroom wipes were nearly 60% higher. Just to reiterate, main coronavirus transmission is not surface oriented. It's with those droplets in the air you breathe. And that is why it's so important to stay home.